Hey everybody, it's Brad here. Uh, Wild Boys Brewery, Pucan Sea Channel, doing another uh, hokey ESB yeast experiment tasting, yeast challenge tasting. Um, today I've got Maine Brew Guys beer, and he used print these off. Try to do a little bit better info on the reviews. Um, he used Y-East 1945 Neo Britiana Britannia. It's a uh, strain that you can only get from Northern Brewers. Uh, this info they've got on it says this traditional English ale strain works well for a w wide range of beer styles from low gravity bitters, which is what this is, and milds to strong. Uh, stouts, porters, and old ales due to the cells chain formulating chain forming characteristics it is an excellent top cropping yeast moderate ester profile makes this a great match for hop driven beers like bitter and pale ale but attenuative enough to handle higher gravity beer higher gravity malty styles excellent flocculation yields clear beer Allows for cast conditioning, ferment at the lower end of the temperature range for a cleaner finish or utilize the upper end of, uh, to enhance low gravity beers with more assertive ester profile. Uh, parent attenuation is 72 to 77 percent. Flocculation is medium high and optimal temperature range is 66 to 74. He came out with a 6.3 final uh, ABV. Okay, let's pop the top on it. Got the Homebrew Heaven bottle opener from Dorf. Nice low hiss. Put about uh, a little over a finger ahead on it. a nice caramel, a little bit dark, like uh, dark caramel color. It's got real good uh, carbonation coming up on the sides of the glass. Um, get my list out here. Got to keep it streamlined. Uh, that was the appearance. Um, just get a smell on it. Smells nice and pleasant. Uh, getting a toffee smell off of it. I'm definitely getting the malts. It's a kind of a caramely toffee smell. Uh, let's keep the foam off the nose. Getting kind of a, a candied sugar kind of, the, the toffee smells really sweet in it. Um, smells good. I like the way it smells. Uh, every one of these beers has been different. Has a clean smell to it. it smells kind of sweet, so let's get a taste on it. Cheers. does not taste as sweet as it smells, but it still tastes really good. It's got a nice medium mouth feel to it. The hops start hitting right toward the middle, and then it fades into some malt, and it goes back to a little bit of bittering on the end.
very nice, very clean. Getting that toffee taste through it, the pretty much coming through on a lot of them, some of them more than others because of the grain bill, all that Maris Otter and Crystal we used. Got a great head sticking around on it. It's got shitloads of lace. You can see it falls back down pretty quick, but it's keeping a nice creamy, velvety khaki yogurt head. The bubbles are super tight on this thing. Like I said, the mouth feels kind of medium. It's not thin. It's not heavy. It's kind of in the middle. As far as the drinkability on this thing goes, I'd definitely drink it again. Um, it's very nice. Good job, main brew guy. Cheers.